This machine will have eyes, ears, and a voice. This is PVP Television News. Gosh, I was on the edge of your seat at that point. I wanted to jump out and tell Macbeth, you know, warn him. You didn't, did you? No, you can't do that in the theatre, can you? <laughs> oh, it was dead excitement. It was like a thriller. Yes. You'll have to go and see more. Well, as a county councillor, I've been a governor of the Planetless High School for 16 years, and it's been a, ple a pleasure for me to be that. It's a very high achieving school, a school that is probably higher than any school in Powys and ranks very highly in Wales also. And we are determined that we retain this school on the present site, uh, providing a very f high class education for pupils of all ages. County Councillor Gwilym Evans shares the concerns of many people in and around Welshpool, Newtown and here in Llanidloes. A public meeting is about to take place here in Llanidloes to discuss a consultation which would mean that sixth form classes may be moved to another location away from the high schools. County Councillor Gareth Morgan who lives in Senate Lloyds, has been asked to chair the meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very warm welcome to you. It really warms my heart, and I'm sure everybody else from Tanny, to see how you've turned out tonight to deal with a, a very important and challenging issue that is facing us as a community. The quality of education at our schools in Clannid Lois is second to none. <laughs> our A-level results are brilliant. Every year we are amongst the best in the whole of Wales and England and we're very proud of it. First and foremost, the fact that we are here this evening standing before you is an indication of the fact that we want to genuinely consult with Paris and this evening with Planet Lois. And I've heard a few comments mentioned about is this a consultation process or has the decision been made? Well, I'm here to tell you categorically on behalf of the County Council that no, the decision has not been made and this is a genuine consultation. This graph represents deficits within schools that are increasing. And they're increasing very quickly over a short period of time. And the main reason why they're increasing is because the number of children in the system is reducing quite rapidly. So across the secondary sector in Powys, we will, over the next few years, have nearly a thousand children less in the secondary sector than we have now. And that will financially impact on our ability to deliver education. And that will impact on Clannid Lewis as well. And I'm going to hand over to my colleague Douglas Wilson. Douglas is going to take you through some of the proposals that we have. And then we need to leave enough time to ask questions. Through your chair, we've also got a presentation uh, after that from the school. And we need to have some time for a few questions after that, I imagine. So we are going to then move on fairly quickly now to the proposals and then open up to a discussion and questions about what we're discussing this evening. But that we would be looking to merge Newtown High School with Lanidlos High School in terms of a head teacher, governing body and uh, administrative functions. Lastly, in terms of post-16 education, again, there are two broad options. Option one is looking at what is being described as a, a hub and spoke model, governed by the continued partnership between Powers County Council and Colleague Powers. The reason being that the Council and Colleague Powers are the two statutory bodies that receive the funding for post-16 education. And it's right that we should continue to look at developing that partnership. And in a, in a hub and spoke arrangement, we are proposing there would be possibly four main hubs that would provide the full range of both academic and vocational subjects, uh, including through the medium of Welsh. So what we're saying is that in option one that the Lanidlos 
Newtown area would be served by a hub in Newtown and a spoke in Lenidos High School. Option two would be determined, as I say, by the location of the hubs as determined by the independent or other organisation. So that just briefly takes you through the, the proposals as they stand just now and as described in the consultation document. Thank Thank you. You. And I uh, know that Councillor Gareth Morgan, is a very long-standing and highly respected member of the Llanidloes community, will direct the questions so that we can make sure we get a spread from as wide a field as possible across the audience. As far as I can see um, from your proposals, the, the uh, colleague Paris is quite central to that at sixth form level. And yet the current offering at, at uh, colleague Paris seems to be minimal at that kind of level. And I'm uh, quite concerned that it will take a very long time to um, uh, bring the offering at College Paris up to that necessary level to, for instance, get uh, children into Oxford and Cambridge that uh, Clannad Lloyd seem to manage quite happily. What is the A-level pass rate at College Paris? Please, I understand your enthusiasm. Do not send our children to College Paris as guinea pigs. Do not decide that we are going to have a structure within powers where you're shaking your head, but you do not know you've been here 11 months. You have yet not tried this process. You started off this meeting by saying that this wasn't a done deal. I'm afraid to tell you from where I'm sitting, it seems exactly a done deal. I don't understand, and from the remark made by, I've forgotten your name, I do apologise, from the lady on the panel there, in blue. Um, well, they're all both in blue. <laughs> you, yes, sir. Um, earlier, that everything about this seems to be very one-sided. The very negative remarks, the pupil numbers are falling, deficits and everything. There doesn't seem to be anything positive coming from this. And also, what is also apparent, there is a complete lack of figures. This book that I've got is very interesting, but there's no figures, there aren't any figures in it. Now, as a businessman, if I was trying and even thinking about a proposal, well, when you made the remark that you thought you would have to do some extra um, mathematics and thinking and uh, on transport costs and everything. I'm staggered. Surely that should have been made right at the beginning of your thoughts about this proposal. We moved into this area a number of years ago and the schools were the, the main choice on why we moved here. Without the sixth forms, we wouldn't have moved here. Um, we would, I wouldn't be running a business here. I wouldn't be contributing to the community. And I'm not alone in that. Um, transport also, if... My ch if my children went to Newtown for, um, for sixth form, that would add five hours a week to their travelling. What effect do you think that would have on their education? And we also talk about quality time in the school, which is absolutely right. When our students are at the school, they need quality time. But to me, quality starts from when they leave the house to when they get back. And I know for a fact, travelling into London and back, two hours on a train, I'm absolutely knackered before I even start work. So how will that affect our children? Not going to London, but the fact of the distances and the timings to get them to school, to do a full day and then come home. I hope they're going to listen to the option that's going to be presented now by the head of the primary school, uh, Mrs. Susan Gray, and Mr. Darren Davis, the head of the high school. The high school and the primary school over the last couple of weeks have been working um, very hard um, together um, to come to some sort of consensus over what we wanted to do and to put a creative proposal forward uh, to the authority. Um, some of the proposals that we've seen we are, we're not happy with um, for all sorts of reasons. We have a, a very good relationship with Newtown High School. We love them dearly, but we certainly do not want to get into bed with them. 
by merging the two schools and charting the educational development uh, and, uh, and attainment of the child from the age of three, when they arrive in school, to the age of 18. Um, it's a new concept and we are working our way through it and we will be working with the authority uh, in work streams, etc. over the next couple of months. We would provide a viable range of A-levels in the sixth form at Llanidloes and we'd continue working with, in partnership with Llanowydd, of which Newtown High School is a partner, and colleague Powys to give access to students a much wider range. We want to provide a centre of excellence in the Llanidloes area that can continue for the next 25 to 30 years. It was very pleasing to see so many people from a community such as Llanidloes come along and give their views on education and our proposals, and also to receive their proposals in respect of the secondary and the primary school. Um, Llanidloes has a long history of very strong community support, and that was very well demonstrated here this evening. Our purpose in consulting is to receive comment, to hear what the public have to say, and to be challenged. And I think this evening's meeting went a long way to, to achieving that. We knew that the level of support um, from Clinic Lois would be huge tonight. Um, but to see them coming in, you know, in droves to support the school at this critical time is just so reassuring for the staff and for the, for the governors and for everybody else that's involved in Trinidad Lois High School. Thoroughly delighted with the turnout and uh, hopefully that the, the, the everyone will get what they deserve. In terms of the future, what we will intend to do is to take forward the consultation process to conclusion, which is in June of this year, and then we will in great detail sift through all the responses that we've received. Obviously there's some very significant challenges for the future of education in Paris, as there are for elsewhere in Wales. And we will then, through the County Council, evaluate those, those, uh, that information and the comments that we've received and then come up with much firmer proposals. And we obviously will reflect on those proposals, the, the consultation process and the messages that we very clearly receive from the community. I am very grateful that the County Council gave us locally, that is, the two schools, the opportunity to present our model, an alternative model from what they were putting forward, and, and that was enormously well received. There was a terrific turnout from the community. I would say there were at least 700 people present. There were 500 chairs out and there were people then sitting on the window, standing all around the hall. The foyer was full, they were in the adjoining room here. It was Llanid Lois at its best and it shows what their commitment is to their schools, how powerful they are, how committed they are and unified they are as a community. And there's little doubt they're going to pursue this until we win this case. Very strong messages come in from Thanid Lois. There will be no doubt a very challenging time ahead. This machine will have eyes, ears and a voice.